Hello again, boys and girls. Today we're gonna take on the animal challenge. As you guys know, in the video above, I posted that artwork can be made out of many different things. It doesn't always have to be made out of supplies that you get from a craft store, or from Walmart, or from Target. Artwork can be created right from items in your own home. And in the video that you guys just watched, you saw a beachgoer that turned all of that trash into true treasures. Now this project that you're gonna to make today isn't gonna to be permanent. You're not gonna be gluing it together or anything, but I wanna see how creative you are. Here's what you're going to do. You're gonna think of an animal in your head. So today, Mrs. Davis has thought of an elephant. Okay, so I thought of an elephant, and now what I wanna do is I wanna use things from around my own house to create an elephant. Again, nothing that we're gonna cut and glue. We're literally gonna take it, maybe turn it in a different direction and make an animal out of it. So you might choose a parrot, you might choose a dog, you might choose um, a cheetah, you might choose something else. I'm choosing an elephant today. So I took a shirt, a gray shirt, and I kind of, you know, folded it this way. And this is gonna be my elephant's body right here. And I found a gray sock and I folded it so it was a little bit shorter. And this is gonna be my elephant's ear here. I'm gonna use a marshmallow and a chocolate covered almond to make an eye. So I'm just gonna stick that almond into the marshmallow like that. And there's my elephant's eye. There we go. Ooh, toilet paper tubes make really good thick legs. So I'm only gonna give my elephant two legs because we don't see the other legs. They're on the other side of my elephant. And if I put four on here, you know, it might just be kind of confusing. Next, I'm gonna use this um, little party, thing here um, to make my elephant's trunk, just like that. A slice of an apple is gonna become my elephant's tusk. And last, a paintbrush is going to be his little tail. Okay, so there we go. Does it look like an elephant that you'd see, you know, in real life? Definitely not, but we used our thinking caps, we were creative, and we thought about what we could manipulate to make an animal. So that is your challenge for this week. I want you to use articles from around your house to make an animal, take a picture of it if you would like, and email it to Mrs. Davis at the email that you see on the screen. Thanks and have fun, bye.